The Stromos is very quiet. Eugen Rittmeyer has been driving one for three months now. He works for the Kassel Municipal Power Company. Driving an electric company car makes perfect sense. There have been a couple of small issues, a cable tour, but overall I like it a lot and so do my colleagues. Why is that? For a start it's different, driving an electric vehicle. Plus we don't need to fill it up at a gas station. We get the juice out of the socket at the company. The Stromos has a range of up to 120 kilometers. That makes it a great city runabout. It's hand-built by German e-cars. The car is based on a Suzuki. The original engine is removed, as well as other components, in order to make room for an electric engine and three bulky batteries. A Stromos costs more than 40,000 euros. And that's pretty expensive. The problem is that a third of the car's price is for the batteries. It's hard for us because we have to purchase components in Asia and we don't have much influence on their price. We hope that as research advances the batteries will become lighter and more efficient and cheaper as the volume of sales increases. German e-cars expects to have sold 100 Stromuses by the end of this year and between 3 and 500 next year. Customers are mainly corporate. The car rental firm Sixt, utilities and research institutes. They all want to test electric cars. German e-cars experience is in drivetrains and electronics. It hopes to find its place as a supplier to the major manufacturers when they get serious about electric cars. We want to be pioneers and prepare the market. We see ourselves ultimately as providing engineering services, as partners and suppliers of components. We don't want to make hundreds of thousands of cars ourselves. The question is, when will the big companies enter the mass market with electric vehicles? That's set to take a while. The costs have to come down and the number of charging points has to rise.